Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, as you guessed by the title of the video, I have single hooks on my lure in today's video. So I go through all the comments, I try my best to reply to everyone in all the videos. Um, I do some videos on the river spinning for trout as well as fly fishing. Um, and I know a lot of lads were requesting um, to do a video on putting single hooks on the lure. So that's what I've done in today's video. I have some size 6 and 8. Um, BKK hooks, Gamma Katu hooks, I'm not sure which ones I have on. I bought two packets. So they're just small little single barbless hooks. Um, I put them onto a five centimeter salmon minnow. It's the only lure I have with me today. So I'm gonna show you an honest review of how we get on. Um, first time using single hooks on this lure. Um, we have about two hours of a session this evening. Hopefully the, the rain holds off. As you can see there, it's overcast. The river is really low, it's really clear, which is a big thumbs down for trout fishing. It makes it really difficult to catch them on the lures. But um, I'm always, I'm always um, positive. Hopefully we get a few fish now. So I'm gonna be fishing it on my Savage Gear SG4. It's an ultralight game rod. That's the rod I use for all my spinning for the trout on the rivers. It's a uh, six foot six in length, one to five gram casting weight. So it makes it really, really fun to catch these small trout. Um, the reel, it's a Daiwa Ninja 1000, nice and light, with some Dragon 0.1 braid. So it's about 10 pound braid. I'm using a leader there about three foot liter of a uh, maximum six pound fluorocarbon tied onto my salmon minnow five centimeter lure with two size, I think they're size eight, single barbless hooks. So the aim of this video is to catch a few trout on the barbless hooks, give you my honest review. And um, as you're watching the video, you're gonna see if we're catching them, if we're missing them. Um, but yeah, actually I got a new net to show you. Um, I picked up one of the Spro flick nets um, rubber mesh net to make it easier for catch and release obviously. Um, it's a shallow little net and it extends out to about a metre and a half. Easier for landing the fish when you're fishing off a bit of a bank on the river. So yeah, um, I know a lot of people requested putting single hooks on the lures. So that's what we're going to do. So enjoy today's video. Now guys, immediately the first thing I've noticed is the water is so clear. Um, we actually had a good bit of rain this, this week. So I was hoping the water would um, be up a bit and a bit coloured because that's really, really helps when you're lure fishing on the rivers for trout. But no, it's really low, it's really clear. Um, so we're going to do our best to get a few fish anyway. The rain looks like it's going to hold off for the evening. Hopefully now it does. Um, fingers crossed it does anyway. So we'll try and get a few fish on the single, single barbless hooks. Fingers crossed we do now. Um, I'll give it about an hour, an hour and a half. Keep walking up, maybe we'll find a few deeper holes. But like I said, the water level is very low. And, and the bad thing about lure fishing for trout in a river, when the water is low is the trout will see you long before you see them. So I'm doing my best to stand well back from the bank when I'm casting. And there's loads of fish actually taking flies off the surface, which is cool to see. So let's see if we can trick a few fish. No. Pick that lure onto the far bank there. I'm gonna work it there behind the boulders. That's the areas you wanna try to pick up a trout. Now work that across the little river there. Oh there's a flash. Maybe that was a big trout. I don't know if it was or not. that back over just in case that was a trout. Yeah, there we go. It was a trout. I had a feeling it was a fish. Now I'm on a high bank here guys, so I'm not going to be able to go down and wet my hands. I'm just going to have to lift them up. Here we go. Unfortunately, you can't wet the hands with this guy, but look. Single hook in the corner of his mouth. What more would you want? Look at that straight out. There we go, pop straight out. Beautiful trout. It was sitting in under the far bank, which dropped straight back. There he goes, not a bother to him. So, that was actually, um, I had a cast at that fish two or three times. First time he kind of went for it. I don't think he got hooked or I don't think he hit the lure, but he missed it. 
So I put it back over on him and he came back for it. So always keep an eye. I have the pole rides on my head now, so it helps. You can see if there's a trout going for the lure, you can always put it back over him if he misses it. But yeah, the single hooks are doing the business. Right before the power bank. There is one after us, come on, come on. There's one after us, come on, it's a good fish. Ah, the water's so clear. The water was just too clear there, we had a good follow. Now the difficulty I'm having here guys is the water is just gin clear. I literally had three trout follow the lure there in the last cast and they were kind of going for it, but like, you know, when it's that clear, you know, they, they have so much time to look at it, even when you're jerking it, like. But um, look, we'll, we'll power on, maybe we'll get a few more fish, we're not going to give up yet. But I'm um, no problem with the single hooks at all yet. I um, met two fish and they've both hooked up. So the only problem we're battling today is the conditions. Not to do with the hooks. So we'll see if we can get a few more fish. No. Good cast right before the far bank. See if there's anything gonna come out from that bush. There's one. Yeah, oh I missed it. I missed it again. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, missed him like four times. Like a game in cat, cat and mouse here. Um, I'd say if I had the treble hooks on the lure that time, probably would have hooked up, because that trout hit the lure like four times. But um, obviously he just didn't feel the single hooks in his mouth. But like, with the polarides on your head, you can see them like they're, they're slashing at it. Um, okay, so that's the first fish that we really would have hooked with treble hooks. But it doesn't matter, it's just fun to get the hit all the same. Um, in colored conditions, if the water was flooded, we definitely would have landed him, he would have hit it more aggressively. He was just plucking at it there because it was coming away from him. But yeah, bit of interest, we'll continue on. Here's a fish. On the singles. Just down below me. We'll get the net down to him. Maybe we'll get down a bit closer. Only small guy, I'll get him into the nest. Now, the net's obviously wet from netting the fish, so I'm going to grab the fish under the net. There we go. Just touched the single hook, which is actually in his chin. He missed it. Get that hook out of the net. Everything is all wet, perfect. There's the fish. Please go back, we'll just slip him back there. Brilliant. Good stuff. There we go. Oh, he flicked the hook out of his mouth. <laughs> he came straight for it. Behind the rock. There's a fish. Oh, we're gonna have to get down to this guy. I don't know how I'm gonna get down here. We'll go, we'll go down. Oh, where is he? Can we get him into the nest? Yes. Good stuff, we we'll have to jump down the bank to get him, but we'll get the rod down. We'll go down to the water here, wet the hand. Oh. There's your single hook in the mouth, wet the hand in the nest. Nice little brown trout, best one today anyway. On the single BKK hook or Gamakatsu, I'm not sure which ones I put on, I had two packets. So, get the net out of the way. There he is guys, we're just going to let him back into the water. Off he goes, no bother to him. Didn't even have to touch that fish. So, that's another fish for the single hooks. 
it's doing well now, considering the conditions. So if you've watched any of the other spinning videos I've done on the channel for the brown trout, um, I'll show you a few areas of interest that'll always catch my attention when I'm fishing from. So as you can see there, there's a few little small boulders across the river. So trout are very much an ambush predator. So they'll be sitting in the slacks just behind them boulders resting. And when they see something passing down with the, flir co the, the, fl the current of the river, sorry, can't speak, they're just gonna nip out from behind the boulder and make their attack. So that last trout I caught right at the back of the boulder. A lot of my casts are very accurate. I land it just past the boulder and I bring it just behind the boulder and nine times out of ten you'll get a hit off a fish. Like there, 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 even here at my feet, there. They're all ambush spots for trout. Um, you'll catch them over the gravel as well. They'll be sitting just on the gravel um, and behind the little weed beds as you can see there. Um, so pull your lure just behind it. I'm um, generally casting upstream or across. Um, jerk your rod across or just give it a straight retrieve. Um, just a few small things that might help lads up their catch rate. It works for me anyway, so um, I said I'd share a few more tips with the videos. And uh, yeah, always I always work upstream when I'm fishing for trout. Trout are always facing upstream into the current. They'll keep the oxygen going through their gills. Um, and you won't spook them if you cast from behind because they're always facing upstream. So as long as you're working upstream, you're casting upstream, you won't spook the fish. You'll up your catch rate. It's all about upping your catch rate, maximize your catches. So yeah, we've, we've uh, I think we've had four, maybe five fish. Um, as you can see there, the water is crystal clear, which is making it so difficult. But I'm really impressed by the single, the single hooks on the lure. It's making it so easy to unhook the fish. I'm um, minimum damage, as you can see there. I have a new net, so that's a rubberized net, shallow mesh, thick rubber. So nine times out of ten, I'm not even touching the fish. You're just grabbing the mesh behind the the trout, unhooking the fish from behind, and just nicking the single hook. Obviously, they're generally hooked in the scissors of the mouth as well. Um, but yeah, impressed by them so far. I'll probably be using them from now on. Um, as soon as we get a bit more rain, the river is just going to come up and it'll get a lot more coloured. And uh, you probably know it already, but you know, the trout are a lot more confident feeding in the coloured water. They're brown in colour, so they're a lot more camouflaged, you know. And uh, they're easier to catch when the water's, after a bit of rain, they're a lot easier to catch with the lures. In conditions like this now, you'll, ha you'll be better off with the fly rod. Lots of fish taking flies off the surface. I'm. But yeah, we're going to carry on. Maybe we'll get one or two more before we finish up. I'm just going to give this one a straight retrieve to make, see if it makes any difference. We had a hit. There's a fish. Oh, I missed him again. Oh God, we're at nothing. When it's this clear, it's so difficult. Had two hits on that cast. Um, probably would have hooked up with the chevels, but look, it doesn't matter. Now we're going to work that back across this pool. It's one of the deeper pools on the river. Yeah, there's a hit. Oh, I missed him. He literally had the lure in his mouth. That is the only downside of the singles. You do miss a few hits. Comes part and parcel of it, but look. Doesn't matter. It's all catch and release anyway. Keep that rod up. There's a fish. Smashed it. Oh, we're gonna have to lift him up because well, maybe we'll get him into the net. We don't want to lift him out of the water if we don't have that. Oh, there we go. So, another trout for the single hook. We won't touch him if we don't have that. He's hooked very strangely through the top of the hook. Come on. The hook went through the, the back of his mouth. So there he is, guys. We're getting straight back. 
single hooks are doing the business. We're missing a good few, but look, we've landed I think five or six, all in the space of an hour. So can't complain with that. Can't complain with that at all. Let's see if we can get him this time. He's a good cast. Let's see if we can pick him up on this cast. There's a fish. Oh, we're gonna have to lift him up. There we go. Good job. Single hooks. It's gonna come straight out of his mouth. Simple as you like. Lovely little brownie. We're gonna have to drop this guy back because we're up off the bank very high. So, ah, straight back. He's only out of the water for a few seconds. No fear of him. Single hooks are doing the business. I think that's number seven in this session. Seven or eight. That's the way I have the single hooks on the door. It's doing the trick. Now an area like this is something that grabs my attention straight away. So you can see there's a river joining another river. Just It just screams trout. I'm, I'm gonna stay well up because I have the polarites on from here and I can literally see everything. Um, so we're gonna have a cast from a height I catch a fish, I'm gonna move down and net him. So, let's see if we can pull one out of here. No. Come on, he's a follow. Come on, come on. Yes, got him. Oh, he came off. Oh, that's so annoying, that was a nice fish. Right below my feet, he followed it the whole way across. See him crystal clear with the Polaroids. Oh, that's annoying. There's a fish. We'll have to get him into the nest. We might have to lift him small bit. Fishing off a high bank, there's not much you can do. But uh, another trout and a single. There we go. You can see that. I won't even touch him. Just a regular hook. Whoa. He's making other plans. Come on buddy, here we go, that's him unhooked, lowers out with a net, nice little brownie, you can see the red spots on it, beautiful fish, we're getting back into the water, lower him down as far as we can get him down, we don't want to drop him too far, there he goes, tears away, no, good stuff, so that's another fish on the singles as you can see there so we're, we're landing we're landing a lot of fish but we are getting hits the whole time um and to be fair we're missing we're missing a fair few as well to be honest but once you're getting once you're landing a few you're happy enough it's all catch and release anyway um yeah once they're hooked they're staying hooked it's just a lot of them are slapping at it from the side they're missing the little hooks but um that's just all part of trout fishing makes it interesting if you landed every fish you caught you know, it wouldn't be as fun. But yeah, we'll stay going. No. Give a straight retrieve back through the pool. There's a fish. Only a small guy. We're gonna have to maybe lift this guy up because we're well up off the bank here. He's after getting hooked. <laughs> He's like a little eel small hook in his tail and the other hook is just in his mouth very easy beautiful little trout we'll, uh, we'll drop him back there get low as we can see you later buddy good luck now
There's a fish. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice trout. He's after getting wrapped in the line or something. So we might lift him up. That's a beauty. That is gorgeous. Best fish of the session. Single hook in the corner of his mouth. Oh, guys. We had to get down to get this guy back in the water because beautiful fish. I didn't want to throw him back. There he goes. <laughs> Explodes back into the water. So I don't like lifting him up. But as you can see there, that's the bank I was up off. And uh, you do have to get him in as quickly as possible with the singles because they do wriggle off. But as you see there, he powered off. Not a bother to him. That was the best fish of the session. I'm, yeah, really nice to get one like that. And uh, the rain is starting. <laughs> so we might work our way back to the car. Right, the rain is coming down, but I'm going to show you exactly where I caught that last fish. So there's a few areas of interest in this little stretch. This is the bend on the river. So obviously the overhanging bush, there's going to be trout all around that. But this is the shallow side of the river. The far bank is the deep end. So that whole little area there, that deep pool, it's just guaranteed to hold a few fish. As it shallows up near the end of it, I'll be casting around there. But I actually got that fish under the front of that overhanging tree. It's um, a tree that's fallen down onto the river. But that trout was just sitting in front of it. And I uh, took the salmon minnow, just uh, on a straight retrieve more than that. And slapped it right there. Um, it's a gravelly little area, this side of it. The far side is deep. But yeah, it's just that I'd talk you through a few of the catches. Um, it's coming down with the rain here, so... <laughs> We're gonna have to get back to the car and uh, Yeah, we had loads of fish in this session loads of fish um, People that questioned the hookup rate of single hooks as you can see there. I fished for an hour I'm um, easily over 10 trout. Um, I hope the camera caught all of them, but Easily over 10 trout um, it, and I know if I really pushed it if I fished really hard probably would have got a lot more But I'm um, yeah really impressed with the single hooks. It's the way to go in all in all fairness if you're catching release um, Obviously if you're trying to catch your dinner use whatever you want but I'm um, yeah impressed with the single hooks anyway no so just walking back to the car the river is really coming back to life and it's coming into May now trout are starting to smash flies off the surface on the river with small dries and I'll have to get the fly rod out soon back down on the river and uh, catch a few on the flies but uh really nice to see the river come back to life the only bad thing is when you're fishing on the bank from the river, the nettles are all coming up again. <laughs> so you're going home with stings on your hands. I like to get down to the river when I'm fishing as much as possible. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the crack anyway. We're going to head back to the car and uh, we'll uh, do the outro. Hi right, guys, that is it for today's video. Um, so that was the first time using the single hooks on the, on the channel. Um, so he got me honest review. So I'd say we hooked maybe, how do I put it into numbers? I'd say we hooked up with maybe 75% of the trout we met. Um, got a lot of hits and to be fair, obviously you can't expect the same hook up rate when you're fishing with single hooks. But the positive, of it, uh, positive side of it is that we, we, we stayed hooked into the fish that we did hook. Like they didn't come off. Um, I know a lot of lads would be worried about single hooks come out, coming out of trout when you're uh, when you're fishing with them but no once the single hook is in his mouth it's it's fairly pinned in there you know and um, once you keep a bit of tension on the trout you won't lose him so yeah i'm very impressed by him i probably will keep uh the single hooks on the lures for the for the river anyway definitely i'm a lot of lads requested uh to see the single hooks in action so hopefully we get a few more videos done spinning uh on the river for the trout um, I probably won't be back down here now until we get a bit more rain. It's raining now outside, but it's only drizzling. You need heavy rain for a few days, really for a week or two, to get the water levels high in the river. Um, I like fishing when there's a bit of colour, especially when the flood is slowly dipping down. That's when you want to hit the river. You get 40, 50 trout in a session, no bother, on the lures. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be back out with the fly rod in the next few weeks on the river. Um, I like to make up, mix up the sig sessions as much as possible. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video guys. Um, leave a like if you did, drop a comment at what you thought, um, your opinions on single hooks and stuff like that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you out here next time.